What's up everyone, it's Bucky and welcome to your 8th Python tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys the difference between raw input and regular input or just input. Now in the last couple tutorials or uh, I don't know what tutorial it was but I showed you guys how you can use input and also raw, excuse me, come on keyboard, raw input to get information from the user. Now I pretty much just told you guys how to, did, how to do this. But I didn't tell you guys what the difference was between the two. In, uh, well, let me do that right now. Input, the input function right here, it pretty much treats anything in there as an expression or not a string. In raw input, which I guess you guys can kind of tell by what I just said, it pretty much takes whatever the user inputs and treats it as a string. And let me show you guys why this is useful. Say you have a variable called buck, and it's equal to um, the input of, let's say, enter name. Say we have a program that lets the user enter their name and then prints out their name, print buck. Now, let me run this, save it. So whenever you use input, basic input like this, it's gonna say enter name, um, bucky. Whoa, 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 we're getting an er error right here. And we're getting this error because it's trying to print out something that's not a string that it can't really print out. So to combat this problem, what Python did is made something called raw input. And what this does is take anything that the user inputs and changes it to a string. And remember, you can't just print out expressions, but you can print out strings, which is just a bunch of characters. So now, whenever we run this module or program, let's go ahead and save this. Now it says enter name. My name is Bucky. Bam. So that is how we can use um, the raw input to get information from the user and convert it to a string. So again, the difference between input and raw input. Use input whenever you want to work with expressions, like a number would be fine that you're going to use like um, in a math problem but else when you're using a string you're going to always want to use raw input like whenever you're outputting a name like this or anything back to the user so that I know I didn't tell you guys in the last tutorial but that is the difference between input and raw input we're going to need to know this in future tutorials and the future programs that we're going to build so pay attention to it learn it play around with it thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe and I will see you next tutorial